Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta and in this video we're going to dust ourselves off in the wake of the death of our beloved target analysis Eddie farm and move on to a mini series of farming routes that will make you forget your ex ever existed. Starting with a route that can be used early game for those new players of Cyberpunk 2077 or those of you that are returning. The grass is sometimes greener folks. Now of course these will take a bit more time than your traditional Eddie maker but they come with the added benefit of gaining you XP, street cred, attribute XP, and tons and tons of dollar, with the only blocker being the time you are willing to commit. Definitely one for the committed of us out there, so without further ado, let's make like a tree and uh, start the video. Now, before we get into the route itself, I think it's important to bring up the three main things you wanna think about when picking a farming route. Firstly, the difficulty that you do the route on, or the game that you're playing, the difficulty you have it on, will of course dictate the XP you get per kill, right? So for this ref reference on this uh, run through, we're going to have it on very hard. But the XP, to be honest with you, isn't too different when going up the levels. I haven't gone below the normal, but normal itself is about 7 XP per kill. Hard is around 11 XP per kill, and very hard varies to about 11 to 15 XP per kill, right? And this kind of is very... Uh, significance to the enemies you're fighting as well so play around with it but my advice out the box is not necessarily go on a difficulty that makes it too hard for you because then you'll be wasting your time but pick an xp level uh, uh sorry a difficulty level that allows you to get the maximum amount of xp but also get the route done in a perfect time frame right secondly it's the location itself now of course we're going to be picking the watson area because this is for those of us that are uh, starting the game for the first time will have a low level character you can see my character top left is level 19 um, and what I mean by choosing the location is there's a few things you want to consider the time it takes to go round the, the route that you're going to take or do and of course the spawn rate of enemies and how easy they are to pick up of course this is our job and the reason why you're watching this video so you don't need to worry about that but if you're going out there and trying to find your own custom route then just bear that in mind and then the third thing kind of ties into that one but it's not as big but sometimes it's good to have things on the route that allow you to maximize things like selling your loot or buying ammo if you're a low level, right? Now, this one doesn't have that, which will run through, but you can even utilize things like having your own vehicle next to you that has unlimited storage. So you could just, in theory, keep going around and looting enemies, storing those items, and then every couple of hours, you could go ahead and, and take the loot out of your storage and sell it, right? Go to your local location. I've obviously got all the, the things filtered right now, but essentially you could do that so once you've got those three things ticked off it's now it's then about taking on the route itself so as i said we're in the watson area beneficial for those lower level characters the f closest fast travel point being nid east or you could even hop over to charter street or walk your way down from all, fo all foods if you fancy it i'm going to start on this corner here you essentially once you know the route can start anywhere on the route i just like to start here makes it nice clean and easy right now, I'm going to be doing it with a mono wire on this character. You, of course, can use any weapon you like and, and use your build you've got. Um, we're going to start by picking off these enemies here. Throughout the journey as well, you'll notice that there'll be um, more enemies on the first run round than there will be on the second. That's just because some of them don't spawn every single time. Um, some will only be there on your first run through. So we'll pick off these enemies in the corner. If you do this route for the first time, there will be enemies over by that van as well. That, of course, isn't happening right now. You'll then pick off the party goers here. Be careful of the uh, pedestrians because that will bring the police around. And no one wants to get involved with those, do we? So we'll pick these guys off here. Benefit of the monowire uh, for those who are thinking about choosing a weapon for these routes uh, is, of course, it's got a kind of an AOE feature or a, a wide cone, which takes out more enemies than... than um, you know you would with just a normal weapon you can see already i've gone up in cold blooded street cred's gone up by a thousand there from killing those four enemies and level went up by 82 so i'm not only getting attribute xp uh, i'm getting the street cred i'm getting normal xp and then of course you usually would loot the bodies i'm not going to do it for the element of time in this video but bear in mind you want to pick up all the loot you can right once you clear out this corner you'll then take a left or a right depending on where you are and make your way down this road you want to just continue on a little bit there is some time in between enemies on this route but still it's not too bad you'll take a left at the sign that says broken you'll see three enemies here they're not always here they're usually around the corner which i'll showcase to you in a second they're only here right now because they heard some commotion go on right and they're like let's go around and, and nuke crafty but we know that ain't happening usually they spawn by this these vehicles here you can see the gun has just dropped so you'll find them around this corner you'll pick them off 
You'll then move through the vehicles and you'll take a left. Now in this area, I, I thought there'd be a lot more enemies around here. There doesn't seem to be. Maybe in your playthrough there is. Done it on a few characters and didn't find any spawns here. It looks like it's just a container yard, to be honest. There is a cool little thing you can uh, loot over here, though. And uh, I won't ruin it for you, but it's a cool little thing to pick up. You want to make your way around anyway. And there's these containers here. Two options here. You can continue round. Or you can hop up these if your level's high enough. Hopefully you can jump better than me. Jump up and then hop the fence because there's three enemies over the other side of the fence to pick off. Now again, you can leave these guys if you want to. Depends if you can obviously jump the wall or can be asked to run around the wall itself. I recommend it. It's a quick and easy way to pick off and sometimes they drop uh, rare or epic loot. Shout out to target analysis. Uh, then you'll make your way around here. You can see street creds nearly uh, leveling up already. My level's going up as well. You'll then come over to these bins or... Uh, yeah, bit a bin area, I guess. There'll be three enemies having a chin wag here. You'll pop these off as well. Making use of this uh, mono wire is pretty handy on this route, but again, any weapon will do. Street cred's gone up. You'll pick them off, and here is where you've got a decision to make. This part of the route um, is bringing us round here again, and you can see we started just over here. Now, our next op our next uh, thing we're going to do is pick off enemies here, and then make a decision to either take a left and do more on the route here to maximize more enemies. Or in theory, you could continue down the road and start again. The enemies will respawn and you can make the route very short and sweet. It won't be obviously including enough enemies to maybe uh, maximize a lot of XP on the route. But then it is a lot shorter in time. So you've got that balance of figuring out what's best for you. Do I do a short route and try and get the benefit because the time's quicker? Or do I take the longer route and get more loot, etc. down the line, right? For the benefit of this video, we're of course going to take the longer route. So when just cross the road, look out for the biggest boss in Night City, which is the traffic. Pop off these three geezers. Again, mono wire for life. Take them out. You can see Blades has gone up now as well. Um, and then you'll take a left at this road here. Now we're going to see uh, down this little bit of the route, a couple of uh, locations that will have enemy spawns um, that won't will only be there on your first time through if you clear them out. I do want to mention though, of course, we, at the start of the video, we discussed things, places to sell your items, etc. There is a drop point here, which is handy. So you can get rid of your loot if you need to. But of course, things like buying ammo and stuff, if you're a character that can't craft it, it's not possible in this location so far, right? So you make your way around. And then you want to go through this, uh, you know, open fence here. You'll notice there's enemies here. For the benefit of this video, I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to sprint through. You'll want to pick them off on your first run through. But bear in mind, they don't respawn. Then you make your way through the gate here. Again, watch out for the road. And just over here, there'll be three geezers on the sofa, probably watching an episode of, uh, you know, the stream. Crafty's playthrough of Cyberpunk or, you know, something cool on YouTube relating to living in beta. Pick them off and then uh, make your way around this corner here. I will say, if you're looking to do the achievement, which which gets you to distract, distract enemies for 30 times, you could sit on the roof here and just keep distracting them with that pretty easy and effective just in case you wanted to do it anyway make your way around here and past the bin bags cut through uh, past the skip and past these bin bags and you'll notice there'll be some keys near some vehicles having a chin wag you'll pop these off as well dispatching of them that guy got a bit fruity we'll take him off as well just heal up for the benefit take a right they've always already been aggroed because they got a bit they heard the commotion you we'll pop them off though as well um, run out of stamina classically on camera and then you'll move over to the corner over here where randomly there's some tiger claws. Don't really know why, but hey, they want to hang out with the mouse room. That's up to them. Pop these off as well. This is disassembling them and or dismembering them. Um, and, and sometimes as well, it's worth noting that enemies do spawn around this corner. They're not as consistent as I'd like them to be though. So I'm not going to really include them on this route. So you'll pick off the enemies here and then you'll make your way around. On the left hand side there will again be one of those uh, scenarios where enemies spawn this these are not consistent so i wouldn't i would only you're only able to pick these off once and they'll never spawn again so just bear that in mind on your first run through that they won't be there consistently every time remember we're basically focusing on the packs of enemies that are always going to be there so you know exactly how much xp and loot and time it takes right oh voice break and then you'll cross the road here take off these take out these enemies around here of course if you have a gun you don't need to go all the way around You'll just uh, have to do this if you're a melee user. Could have hopped the fence, but we ain't no degenerate, right? Pick those off, and you'll notice now your surroundings. You're essentially back to the start where the party is happening once again, and the enemies are there to attack once again. And you can continue rinse and repeating this route 
quite simply, right? So just to show on the map for reference, we started here, we picked off the enemies here and here. There may be, may be a spawn over there, but it's not consistent. You're going to make your way around, clear the enemies here. Around here, hop the fence, kill those enemies. Kill the enemies on the corner. Run up this road and kill the enemies. Then decide if you want to go all the way, the longer way around, or go to the short way around. We took the long way around. Down here through the uh, kind of yard where there will be enemies, only for one time though. Pick off the sofa dwellers. Round here and have a little ruckus with all the enemies in here. Back through the gap here. Pick off the enemies across the road and back up to the corner. Simple and effective. And again, like I said, you just got to rinse and repeat it. I, of course, didn't um, loot any enemies. From there, you can disassemble the items or collect them and sell them. Of course, I did get the XP. Haven't dinged. Uh, but street cred has already dinged and of course is nearly already on to 37 as well and then you have got the attributes going up most importantly cold-blooded benefits from this because you're essentially attacking enemies before they see you and then depending on the weapon you're using will of course get the benefit from this as well also want to do a little side note that athletics is also going to get a benefit of course because you'll be running around all the time which yeah gets your athletics up right so yeah simple and easy in the nice watson area for you to do when you're a lower level um I'll be, i've seen this on a level seven i've sorry i've done it on a level seven it's a little bit harder of course because you're a lower level but these enemies do spawn in the same locations so it can be done almost out the box before you even get to act two right so yeah let me know in the comments below how you liked it if you uh found any more areas around watson that allow you to do this um and let me know if you found any more packs of enemies on this route that you've added into your route it'd be cool to know that as well but as always um thanks for watching the video we're going to have a couple of more videos in this series, like a mini series, as I said. They'll be linked in the description below and you'll see them on the channel in the next few days. But for now, like the video if you liked it, share with your friends and family, subscribe for more content like this one, and remember, don't be a gong.